<laughs> Say it ain't so. That rhyme, I hate to play the game. Bars. Now, just going from this title, my thoughts immediately say, wait a minute. You actually talked to Peter Jackson about doing this series? Okay. I know what's going to happen. If this show is not a hit, people, the fans are going to flip their lids. That's, that's what's going to happen. They are going to flip out and say, Why didn't you go with the guy? That created a successful movie series out of them. Huh? So let's check this out. Franchise, if you will. The Oscar winning director says Amazon asked him to be involved with the mega budget Lord of the Rings series and then cut off contact. Amazon suggests the story isn't quite so simple. I always like to hear both sides. I always do. I don't like to jump to conclusions because I know how it is, especially online. <laughs> Peter Jackson is weighing in on Amazon's The Lord of the Rings TV series. The Oscar winning director of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit trilogies reveals the studio asked him to be involved with its upcoming mega-budget series, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, and promised to send him scripts, then never contacted him again. Okay, they asked me if I wanted to be involved. And I said, that's an impossible question to answer without seeing the script. Mm. Jackson recalled to Scott Feinberg on Hollywood Reporter's Awards Chatter podcast. So they said, as soon as we get the first couple scripts, we'll send them to you. And the scripts never showed up. That's the last thing I heard, which is fine. No complaints at all. Hmm, well, Pete Jack is all right with it. I got a feeling the fans won't be all right with it. In an upcoming The Business Podcast, talking to Hollywood reporters, Ken Masters, it's not like a martial artist, like Ken Masters, like Ken Masters is his cousin or something. The filmmaker echoes the anecdote and phrases it slightly different, yet makes the same point. At four or five years ago, they asked if I would be interested in it, he says. So I said, have you got the scripts yet? Because I know how hard the scripts were to write for the films. And I didn't know the people writing their scripts. They said, oh no, we don't have, we haven't got the scripts yet. But as soon as we do, we'll send you the scripts. So I was waiting for the scripts to arrive, and they never did. Back in 2018, Jackson told UK Metro, I think they're going to send us some scripts to see if uh, we can help them along. Still, Jackson emphasized that he harbors no hard feelings toward Amazon's series and is eager to watch it as a fan of the franchise. Okay? Um, what I know is this. As I know, people are already saying, yo, this, this, isn't, this isn't what Tolkien envisioned. This isn't part of his, um, his, um, his original source material. They're woken it up, and people are pissed off. I've already seen several, several videos on them. And uh, the ones that I've seen, it, it seems like nobody's, like, happy. I mean, maybe there's some happy ones, but, you know... Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm interested. I'm interested just because, like, I'm kind of like a person that, that like, I saw the, you know, the first six and uh, enjoyed every single one of them. And, matter of fact, I just bought the Ultra HD versions. 
so that Scarlo could watch them all. Cause she, again, now I'm making her a believer. She saw the first one, loved the first one. Uh, um, but um, yes, we started out with Lord of the Rings. We didn't start with The Hobbit. But anyway, so um, I'm curious to see what they're going to do with it. You know what I mean? Like, um, you can change a lot in something, and it can still be good, or it can be bad. You know what I mean? So, we're, we're just going to have to see. I'll be watching it, he says. I'm not the sort of guy who wishes ill will. That's good. That's good. Filmmaking is hard enough. If somebody makes a good film or TV show, it's something to celebrate. The one thing I'm looking forward to is actually seeing... It as a perfect neutral viewer. Jackson adds that Amazon is betting the farm on Tolkien, given its massive half billion dollar budget on the show's debut season. He said, no, wait a minute. He's looking forward to seeing it as a perfectly neutral viewer. That's interesting. That's an interesting phrase there. It's uh, that's something I don't think it's very easy to do, especially when you're the guy that created the juggernaut franchise that you did. Can you do it? Can you watch it neutral? I like to ask him that. Like, can you? Like, I know you're saying it. I'm not saying I don't believe you. Sometimes biases pop up while you're watching. Like, what the? This ain't. This ain't. This ain't Tolkien, you know what I mean? That might pop up. Seems as if uh, these, this series was made by a huge fan. The franchise was made by a huge fan of the source material. So, you know, um, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see if, we'll, what he has to say afterwards. Amazon Studios respond to Jackson's comments with the following statement. <clears throat> In pursuing the rights for our show... We were obligated to keep the series distinct and separate from the films. We have the utmost respect for P.D. Jackson and the Lord of the Rings. Uh, excuse me, films. The burp wasn't in there. And are thrilled that he is looking forward to watching the Rings of Power! Unlimited Sources close to the project describe a complicated and delicate backstory to the situation. First, that the studio has high regard for Jackson and that rings of power. Showrunners J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay have privately attempted to make overtures to the film, but that the statement, but as the statement suggests, there were also legal concerns about keeping the films, which are owned by Warner Bros. and the TV show, separate. There have been executive changes during the time period in question as well, with former head of genre programming Sharon Tao Yuguago, I think that's what it is, perform, uh, whom one source described as an advocate of luring Jackson to the project, departing the company in 2019. Perhaps even more crucially, sources say of author J.R. Tolkien's estate was against having Jackson on board. Why? This shouldn't be surprising as the estate had no involvement with his films and Christopher Tolkien has previously slammed the trilogy in the press as eviscerating his father's books, claiming they turned his novels into action movies for young people that lack beauty and seriousness. Damn! Damn! But this state is involved with the series. Amazon paid the estate an astounding $250 million for the rights to make the show. All that said... One does not simply offer to send Peter Jackson a Lord of the Rings script and then leave the man hanging. That's strange. So, you mega fans can tell me, because from what I've read, I could have swore that I've read that he was actually a big fan. 
and, and people were very happy with the movies. You know, sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do to translate books to movies, and I get it, it's not always perfect. But if he thought they, they were, if, if their state, if his son or whoever thought that they were horrible, the fans are losing their minds and calling this trash already. So what does he think of this? I mean, was he consulted? Was he consulted? Because people are talking like this series is, from, from what they've seen in the trailer, people are talking like this stuff is like ass backwards. Like it's not what, so my question is, after uh, Tolkien's son sees this, will he be happy with this? Which one will he be happier with? That's interesting. Moving on, Jackson was also asked if a Famuya studio would greenlight his trilogy today, answering probably not, not with a director like me in a studio that would put its money on the line for three movies, he says. Hmm. Interesting. As for his trilogy's legacy, Jackson says, if there was anything we gave to the ongoing community of filmmaking, is that we opened up the CGI bag of tricks <laughs> to have huge battle scenes. Yeah. That's a bit of a modest answer, considering epic fantasy shows such as HBO's Game of Thrones would likely have never been greenlit, if not for the, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jackson also said an awards contender, is also an awards contender this season for his acclaimed Beatles documentary. Oh, okay. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Well, you guys tell me in the comments. You guys know more about this than me. I'm a fan. I went to see every single one of them in the theater, 3D when I could, back before I knew about 4DX, and I got them all extended edition Ultra HD. So I'm a fan, but I've never read the books, and I don't know anything else. So help me out. Let me know. 10 million subscribers. Woo.